Well, Canada, are you ready for the big eclipse? It's coming on Monday, August 21st. It's a total eclipse of the sun that's cutting across the continental U.S. For Canada, that means, unfortunately, no total eclipse, but for some parts of the country, a very deep partial eclipse of the sun, and this is something that we can all observe. Now, it's a cloudy day today, so we've set up our artificial sun here behind me, and I can take you through some of the easy methods for viewing the sun safely. One way is pinhole projection. Basically, you can start with a small business card size paper, poke a hole in it, maybe a couple millimeters across, and then by holding that up maybe a foot or two away from another white piece of paper, you can allow the image of the eclipsed sun to be projected onto the paper. You can make the image sharper by making the hole smaller, but that also makes the image a little bit fainter, so you can sort of judge what, what works best for you. Now, there's a way to augment this with a pair of binoculars. You can actually take your binoculars and use them as the projector. I have to stress, do not look at the sun through binoculars. That is not the right thing to do, but it gives you a better, clearer, bigger projected image in the form of indirect viewing. It is also possible to look at the sun directly, and that's to use welder's filter. This is something that welders would use if they're doing arc welding, for example. It has to be shade 14. Don't use a lower number. It comes in a little square rectangle like this. The way to use it is to put it over your eyes first, and the filter will be dark enough to show you the sun in eclipse without allowing the infrared and ultraviolet rays to pass through that can damage your eyes. So, those are some of the safe methods that you can use to view the eclipse. There's no reason to hide or to stay indoors as long as you know how to view it safely. In case it is cloudy, though, there is another total eclipse coming to North America in 2024, and part of that total eclipse will be seen in Canada. So this is good preparation. Enjoy the eclipse.